Hey, what's going on friends? Hope you're doing well. My name is V. Welcome to my channel, V Love and Tarot. I also post a lot of fun deck talk videos, like talking about my favorite decks, battle of the decks, deck tutorials, deck reviews, all that fun stuff over on my main channel, V Love and Crystals. If you're interested in that, please do check out my description box and the comments. You'll see that it's linked there. All right, so I'm so happy to, to bring this re reading to you. This is where your connection is going pick a card reading if you're new please subscribe if not thank you for returning and don't forget i have a pick a card playlist with lots of fun videos in there number one you have the canary spirit choose your animal number two you have the spider spirit and number three you have the starfish spirit so choose your animal which one do you feel is yours for the taking is your message you know go with your intuition first and then second option or third or fourth could be with your eyes if that's what you want to do. Okay, friends? Um, if you need more time, please take some time. Always connect, connect, connect. And try to push those thoughts out and let your intuition shine. Timestamps are always below. But if you would like to watch the full video, that's freak, freaking awesome too. Whatever you wish. I'll see you over in the piles. Number one, you're going to be first with the Canary Spirit. Okay. All right. Number one, thank you so much for being here. You chose the Canary Spirit. Hello. Why did you choose this? Let me know. Is it a, it was an intuitive decision or an eyeball or your favorite color or favorite number? Let me know. I'll let you know what that means towards the end of the reading. I'm going to, um, yeah, figure that out. So uh, for you, your connection. So where is your connection heading what does the energy look like right now and where the, what the potential could be if you guys were to stay on that road together for good for, for bad um and we'll see how we can improve it so um if you are just coming over thank you so much for checking me out. i hope that you can subscribe if you would like to donate to the channel i do have a thanks button it's right next to my subscribe button that's like a little tip jar and your name is highlighted in the comment section and I thank you so much for your support. I will also put all supporters' names in the very beginning of my video in the scroll bar. So if that's something that you're interested in, check out the thanks button. And I thank you to the moon for your energy. It keeps me motivated. So let's see. What is your awesome connection like? So you got the seven of wands and where it's heading. Five of coins and the five of swords. You have two fives. Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and Five of Swords. So right now it's a little, it's a little rocky. Right now it's a little tough. Right now you're in the eye of the storm. Yeah, trying to get up out of the funk, out of the storm. Five of Coins. Yeah, you're having having difficulties right now. So where is it heading? I feel like right now it's. It's remaining the same, only because there's some th things that you both need to figure out. You both need to be very honest and open with each other. Sing your own song, yes. Be very communicative with your feelings. Communicative with your intentions and what you expect from each other. Um, where you want this connection to go. It could be that you guys are not on the same page. You got the Five of Swords, so there's a little bit of going back and forth. Not seeing eye to eye, or just, you know, 
yeah, just butting heads at this time. But the Seven of Wands reminds me that if you were to vocalize your concerns in a non-defensive way, not the Five of Swords or the Five of Coins way, not no pointing fingers, if you were to acknowledge your own feelings and take responsibility for your own feelings and actions, I think you can really get over this hump, this five. All these fives, these two fives. Um, yeah, I, I feel that if you were to, you know, as hard as it, as it is, like confront your person or just ask them to hear you out, hear your song, hear your voice, because you have a lot to say, then you guys can get over this. You got single. So it looks like you guys, you guys could be heading towards a little bit of, you know, contemplation energy. Like, you know what? I need to figure this out. I can't do it while we're still arguing or I can't do it while we're still mad at each other or, you know, feeling bitter or maybe you guys are just so you guys are so close you're always spending time together and you guys just you know it's it's un unavoidable it's hard not to fight it's hard not to bicker it's hard not to get in each other's way but maybe by you taking time to yourself and your person taking their time to themselves you guys can really try to figure things out by yourselves thinking about it yeah contemplating feeling liberated to be free be single for a little bit even if it's for a week or a month whatever some kind of separation needs to be had or else there, there could be a little bit more of, of you know butting heads and i think you're you're like I i'm out of this I, I can't i can't anymore climbing up the ladder to freedom to singlehood to a peace of mind you feel like you're in control. You see this lady with the gown and this lady with the gown right here. You want to be in control, but you don't feel like you are in this situation. You have the double life here. So this tells me that you probably feel... You could be like one foot in the door, one foot out. Emotionally checking out, but still physically dealing with this. Or you could be separated or on the way to becoming single but then you you still be being um affected by this or being pulled back or missing this energy missing the person hiding the hiding what you're doing on the other side of the fence from this person um a lot of oranges reds orange and orange and reds and yellows um this tells me that you know you could be on one side, showing that you're happy, and the other side, you're breaking down inside and you're not happy. So you need to sing your song and be very expressive. The next thing here is swingers in love. So this tells me that, you, look, double double life. So you might want to bring, you might feel, not, not, not saying what you should do, I'm saying you might feel... Like you want to, or maybe you, there's another third, there's a third party situation here. But maybe you feel like you want to bring somebody else into the mix to spice things up. Or maybe you want to, maybe you feel like you want someone to help you mediate, be the mediator, the bufferer, the buffer, sorry, the buffer, the, the referee, the, the, the counselor to hear you out. This is like a outside influences energy. This is what I'm getting for this cards swingers in love and um i'm also getting i don't know why i'm getting that i guess because swingers like you know going you know dating other people or having threesomes whatever um so that indicates other people other parties so however you look at this maybe you're looking for help outside of your connection and you're thinking that by entertaining someone else maybe that will help you fix it or maybe you saying, hey, I need help with our connection. Let's go to a marriage counselor. And maybe you seek help that way or some kind of input that way. Food for thought that way because there is swords here. There are swords. Or there's one sword here, actually. So let me tell you what the cards we're using before we continue. We got the Animal Spirits. This is uh, on Amazon. We have the... Oh my gosh, I can't even remember the name. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of this, but it's so beautiful. I love it. 
It used to be on Amazon. I'm not sure if it, is, if it still is. We have uh, our oracles, Rare Hot Love and Flaming Hot Love, and 53 Shades of Love on Etsy, eBay, and Instagram. And now I'm going to throw in some love messages also from my shop. And then this one is from the lovely Gift of Soul 777. She's my friend. She's my soul sister. She has a pick a card channel and she has an Etsy shop and she does readings. That's her first baby. And I'm so happy that I have it. And I pair it with my Painted Love Oracle also found on my Etsy shop. And then uh, I'm going to start with uh, lovely Cherry Enchantress's uh, beautiful silhouette, embra silhouette uh, love cards and then her gentle embrace enchanted embrace cards for messages so um <clears throat> you know what i'm gonna I'm, i feel like i have to clarify something i want to see what 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 this is saying so um let's see where is your connection heading please help me clarify Please help me clarify the swingers in love. Why is the swingers in love here? Why is the swingers in love? Why is this card here for the connection that number one is in with their person? Please help me clarify the swingers in love. Why is the swingers in love here? <coughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. All right, my friend, this is the, having to do with your, whoever you're involved with. Your 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 ride or die person, whoever you're having this altercation, this back and forth, this chaos with, this un, you know misunderstanding, this whatever this is here, this hiccup, this has to do with that. So maybe you are looking to separate, sing yeah, separate single, or you're looking to bring people into your marriage if you're married. If you're not married, but you feel like you are because you've been together for uh, you know a little while or a long time. Maybe this is saying you want something in your marriage to help you improve this connection. Whether it's a counselor intervening or it's a another person, a third party. And then, yeah, you want to take off. You know, this, this can be like you wanting your person to find somebody so that you can be off the hook. <laughs> journey. Journey, a journey. So you, you know, yeah, I can see you, um, this, yeah, this, this, um, causing you to move on with or without your person. I think, honestly, that something, I feel like something's going to happen. And you're going to see a different, you're going to see it from a different perspective. And then you're going to make a decision. Should you stay and fight for this? Or should you see what the other side of the grass has to offer you? Because you, right now you're in between. You're like right side in, inside out. You're like, you don't know what to do. You're hanging like a, you're, you're a hanged man, indecisive energy. You don't know what you're doing if you're in and out. If you don't know if you're happy, you're sad. You don't know. You're wearing a mask. You're you're, you're um, disguising your true feelings. You gotta express yourself, and then you will move forward with your person. If you seek, you know, the help that you need, or without your person, single. Okay, let's see what love messages want to come through. All the links to these decks will be down below. Alright, let's see. Pal number one. What messages want to come through from your person to you now that we're, we are we dove into this energy. We already know what's going on. Somebody wants out. Or maybe both parties want out, but you, you don't know how to relieve yourselves from each other because you've been together for so long. It could be that you guys just you want to keep your, your, your marriage flexible so you want to like you know introduce other people to the mix and see if that helps um yeah you feel like it's gonna help you improve the five of coins five of pentacles stop the bickering stop the, the madness all right sing your own song you want to live your own life you want to do your, you want to toot your own horn flute uh, sing, uh play your own flute there's a flute here with the bird okay you got twos quite a few times. All right, hold on. What love messages want to come through? Courtesy of your person. Pound number one. Pound number one's person. Mystified. Okay, so you got twos uh, twice. You have double. You have 12. Two times one is two. 
you have 7, 7 take away 5 is 2, you have 5 again, 2 5's, that's another 2, 3 take away 1 is 2, swingers, 2 people here, 2 people here, 2 people in that mirror, you already, already said that, alright, so mystified, feeling perplexed and a little bewildered, yeah, you're like, I don't know what I want to do, I don't know what my person wants, that's what I'm saying, like this uncertainty here. You have to make it known. What do you what do you want out of this connection? What do you want from them? What do you expect? What are your intentions going down the line? Everybody's just miscombobulated. Like nobody or discombobulated. Everybody's like all over the place. You and your person. Come on, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Yeah, let's bring this ground ourselves. She has this man underneath her sword. What the heck is up with that? She has a he, she has him under control. It's like saying, "Listen to me. Stop moving around so much. Listen." That's probably what that that's saying. Celebrating. So once you have this connection, I mean, once you have this uh, conversation, celebrating is time to party. I have a gift for you. Let's share this special day together. Have a reason to come together. Have a reason to celebrate because you're getting over this. So you just, you're in a little hiccup, but you're gonna get over it. Both of you on a good note. On a good note. It's uncertain, but you're gonna get over it. You got the train here saying so. This movement. You make me feel alive. See, that there's a lot of chemistry after all this is said and done. Oh my gosh, you're gonna find newfound love, new new love for each other. You know, and this could have been your first fight. I can't help fall in love with you. I feel like it's over and over and over and over and over and over and over. It's a it's a never ending love story. And look what we have here, over and over. Our journey is a never ending story. And you got journey here. Look at that. Our journey is a never ending story. I feel like you guys, I don't know if you guys uh, met in another lifetime, but in this physical lifetime, in, the, in your bodies, maybe this was your first fight. And maybe that's why things are so sensitive. Like, oh my gosh, we never fought like this before. We're breaking up. And your person's like, what do, what do you mean? Everybody's gonna fight. Or maybe you're, you're like, what do you mean? Why are you checking out? Why? When this is our first fight, so what? Or maybe you guys, it, you know, when you guys fight, it breaks your spirit. Maybe you guys fight all the time and it's just at the breaking point, you know? Like, it's just, you're tired of it. There's a place where you meet me there. See, there's some kind of change. <laughs> Look at that. There's a lot of chemistry here, okay, friend? Can you feel my love? I'm done. You're so beautiful. We have that here. Bewitched and you have bewildered. Okay, my friend. So this is like saying... Things are uncertain. You know why? Because it's in your hands. If you want to take take control of this, you totally can. This is not a like carved in a stone at reading. You can totally change this. You know any type of reading that you get yourself into. That's just what the energy is right now. You can always improve. You can change. You can keep it the same. You can say, you know what, I want, I want better, than this, better than this. Or you can say, you know what, I don't want better than this. I want to go back to fighting again. Whatever you want to do, because you you're the master of your own ship. Okay, friend, you're in control. Look at you, feeling good. Look at you. A lot of feminine energy. You can be masculine too, stepping into your feminine energy. Okay? Alright, so let's see what other messages want to come through. Courtesy of Gift of Souls, Awesome Love on the Brain Deck, and my Painted Love messages. All right, pile number oh, pile number one. What messages want to come through? Pile number one. What, what messages want to come through? All right. So how this works? Okay, we'll bless that energy. Bless it. Bless it. All right. How this works? Sometimes one or five cards will push one card out that's really supposed to be here, or all of them are supposed to be here, or maybe none of them. So we're gonna figure out. You know, when these flyers just pop out of nowhere, that's how I, that's the, the consensus. Um, okay. You're my queen, you're my king. Look at that. This is like you feeling yourself, you're in control. I just said that. Yep, so that's supposed to be here. Where does that leave us? Where does that leave love? Where does that leave love? What about us? A lot of questions. See, this is what I'm saying. Your person does not know how you feel. Sing your song. Or you don't know how they feel. Sing your song. Oscar, sing your song, Olga, whoever your name is, sing your song. Tell your person. Tell me what you. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. Tell me what's up. 
Don't guess. Don't try to read their minds. Don't let them try to read yours. None of that assumption stuff. Come on. Let's talk about it, you know? That's how you gotta approach this. So, yeah, so many questions. Can you feel my love? What, what, where does that leave love? Where about us? Oh my gosh, can you feel my love? What, what, where, where does that leave love? There's a place where you meet me there. Come on, it's like a lot of questions here. I miss you. You're perfect for me. So it's like no matter how many fights you have or what the argument this is about, this person is not ready to give up just yet. You just got a little bit of a hump to get over, a little hiccup, and then you got this. You're my one and only. True love. Let me love you. Oh my gosh. See, this person is not ready to give up without a fight. Without a fight. Because you got the five of swords. Without a fight, this person is, is, is in it still. You've been caught. So this is like saying, all right, I know something's wrong with you. Your, your actions speak louder than words. You've been caught. You're not in this emotionally. I caught you. Not saying that they caught you red-handed, but they... They caught the, the ESP wave. They're in sync with you now. They caught the, the train. You got the train here. They caught the sad train. You see that you're sad? They're catching a ride on it. Hiking a ride on your sad train. They're like, wait, you're sad? Okay, I'm sad. You're mad at me? Okay, I'm mad at you too. I don't know. <laughs> I'm counting the days until I can see you again. I love you. We, we What the heck? We talked about that. You need what I can't give you. So maybe that's what the fight is about. You're needing something more and they're like, Look, I'm tired of, I'm tired of saying that I can't give you it, or I'm tired of you at demanding this of me, or I'm, I want something you to give to me. I want you to give it to me. I want you to give to me something. How come I'm always the one giving to you? I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of, you know, high demands here, and that's where the the budding of the heads is, is is coming from. You know. So anyway, all in all, I think you can resolve this. I really do. It's just a matter of how much effort you want to put into this. Don't forget, you know, this is not a personal reading. So if you want something more tar tailored to your energy only, I do have personal readings on my Etsy. I'll see you next time. And I really hope that you put your effort into this. This is a, a lifetime relationship. I feel like you guys are going to continue having ups and downs. But stay on the train like this journey card in here. Stay on the train. Don't give up so quickly. Okay? Much love to you. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Pile number two, you chose the weaving spider. Spider spirit. Hello, welcome to your reading. Let me know that you stopped by by putting number two in the comment section. And also, if you would like to support this channel, I do have Patreon. I have many decks for sale over on Etsy. I have the thanks button next to my subscribe button. And we also, um, I do personal readings as well. So I thank you so much for your support. And oh yeah, the join memberships next to our subscribe button. You get uh, to see all the videos that I batch record ahead of time before everyone else does. And I also put your name in the very beginning of my videos in the scroll bar to say thank you. So where is your connection heading? <sighs> yeah, make your dreams real. Seven of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Backup Plan, and Bye Bye Love. Okay. Interesting. So these two are kind of the same to me. In Pa 1, we also had Single, we had Journey, j Singlehood, we had Journey twice, um, and then we have Bye Bye. So, um... So for you, Panama 2, where is this connection going? All right. So there could be a, an ending of some sort in this energy. Um, yeah, I think you're, number two, you're, you're fantasizing about what could be with this person. You could have a crush on this person. Um, you could be even oh, picking on... Picking up on cues that are not really there, because you're so hopeful that this person returns the favor, or returns the feelings, or notices your feelings and wants the same things that you do. So I'm not saying you're delusional, or I'm not saying that what you feeling, what you're feeling, isn't true. I think that this can just say that you are so so hopeful. That there's something really there when it's, it's not that it's not there, it's just that 
it's like bl something blown out of proportion. So if someone gives you like a compliment, I don't want to say you. Okay, so let's say Lisa got a compliment from Jerry. Meanwhile, Jerry's just being friendly. He's just sparking conversation. And Lisa's like, oh my gosh, she's in love with me. He loves me. He wants to marry me. He has eyes for me. He he thinks of me as his princess. Oh my gosh. But then Jerry, you know, he could have a little bit of a little spark there with you. But it doesn't mean that he's in love. I'm sorry, Lisa. It doesn't mean that Jerry's in love with Lisa just because he gave a compliment. And so Lisa has to realize that there could be something there. But it's not like, um, yeah, because it, it, it's not... It says, make your dreams real. So it's kind of like a little spark or a little bit of an interest. There's interest there, but it's not like full-blown love or it's not like marriage material type of love. You know, it's it's more like, oh, the, there's potential. There we go. Like a page of swords, you know, this, or I'm sorry, page of wands, page of cups. It's, there's potential. It's the very beginning of something. And so you're hoping that this will make your dream come true. You're hoping that it, you know, it materializes like a web, a weaving, weaving, weaving web to catch food on. And so you got seven of cups here. You're like fantasizing. You're thinking. You're like, man, I wonder how life would be with this person. I wonder. So right now, the energy is all up in the air. The energy is just right now a fantasy. The energy is thinking a lot about the other person. And it could be on both parties, to be honest. To be honest, it can be on both parties. But that's probably where it could stay, where it would stay. Because of other reasons, other things, you know? It can be other factors, like maybe a person's with someone. Maybe a person's half across the country, halfway across the country. Maybe a person's busy with work. Maybe a person just really just wants to be friends with you. You know, whatever these factors, how, however they, they resonate. But... Um, you do have the Ace of Pentacles here, and that tells me that there, you, you're still at the very, very beginning stages. So we can't jump the gun just yet and say that it's something big, like like a marriage here, when it's not there yet. It's too premature. So, um, okay, so then where's your connection going? Again, so you have Ace of Pentacles, so this is the beginning. So, you know, if you want this to deepen... If you want this to strengthen, if you want this to be more concrete and grounded, get to know your person more. Get to spend more time. Um, get to, you know, take the set, set the initiative. You know, take initiative. Don't expect the person to just give you compliments all the time for you to realize if they like you or not. Like, you know, give it back and see where it escalates from there, if it does. Four of Pentacles, you know, yeah, you could be very clingy onto this person or just very, like you're wanting stability, you're wanting to ground yourself, you're wanting structure with this person. And, yeah, so you're wanting something that's long-term. And then you have the back, well, or, or, or it could be short-term because the anchor goes right back up into the ship and keeps moving. So you could want to, you know, st you, you could want structure with this person. Sit, sit there long enough to see if the person reciprocates the same feelings, and if not, you, you keep it moving. You, you stick with your backup plan, which is to go on, go on about your life. And, that, and the idea here is not to just hold your breath waiting for this person. Your idea is to see if, you know, test the word to see if there's something there, and if not, move, move, on, move on along the Yellow Brook Road. And then, yeah, bye-bye, love, and then take action elsewhere. Do your own thing. So um, that's where I feel it's, you know, what's, what's heading. It's like you're testing the waters, you're figuring out. It starts with an idea, it starts with the emo you know, emotions. You put in the work a little bit, you see if there's anything there, see if anybody takes the bait, that your crush takes the bait and reciprocates those, those feelings. If not, you got a backup plan. Maybe there's somebody else that you're liking. Maybe you're still involved with someone else, whatever. And then you take action from there. And it could be that you're taking action with this person that you were, you were talking about. Or you're taking an action, um, leaving the person behind that we're talking about into someone else's direction, someone new, someone new, someone's direction that's new in your life. All right, let's see. I'm going to, um, I want to pull my, 
my friend lovely okay so let me tell you this is the animal spirit the spirit animal cards amazon dick sick cards amazon my etsy ebay and instagram Fifth, uh, flaming hot love 53 shades of love and then uh give the souls awesome love on the brain oracle i'll have everything down below to where you can find this and my painted love messages oracle also on my etsy shop and ebay and instagram so let's see what the heck this is about what love messages want to come through um, this can be like, you know, one sided crushing, like you crushing on somebody so much and you're waiting. You have the compass here. Oh, okay, so you got journey, travel, bye bye. So moving in their direction, you plant yourself, put your, your anchor down, wait for your person to bite the bait. If not, you put your anchor back in your boat and you keep it moving. Get your running shoes and you run in the opposite direction. And this can say don't have your eggs in, in the same basket. Don't just put all your energy into this one person. You might be holding your breath for a little longer than you would like if you do that. You know, you're, you're, you're putting your, your web in one spot. You gotta expand and make a bigger web. All right, let's see. So messages for part number two. Oh, hold on. I hit the jackpot with you. All right. I dream about you. See, what the freak? What the freak? You're my only chance at true love. I'm all night thinking about you. I can't bear to lose you. Give me tonight just one last try. This is what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, what other words want to come out? Look, I choose you and I love you more than words... Wait, I love you... Loving you is so easy, I love you more than words could say. You probably can't see it because I wrote on it, but... So this is like, oh my gosh, you got a lot of thinking. See, this is what I'm saying. A lot of contemplating, like the like the weaving web here, the 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 spire, sp spire, the spider. She's like thinking of a game plan. So, so much thinking, and then she's like, okay, now I know where I'm gonna put my 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 web, my string. I know where to put it. This way, that way. There you go, and you're capturing all this, and then these are all your thoughts too. So look, a lot of thoughts. Let me just remind you. Let me remind you of that, because you're gonna be like, "What? Yeah, hold on." Okay, I choose you. So you have, <laughs> you have the spider thinking, weaving, planning, seven of cups. Yep, yep, yep. In the mind, fantasizing, um, dreaming again. So, dreaming, 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 fantasizing, um, all night thinking about you, fantasizing. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what else? Uh, tonight. Give me tonight. Just one last try. I'm up all night thinking about you. See, give me tonight. Thinking again. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And then you got um, these other cards here. I hit the jackpot with you. So they're really lucky to have found you. You're my only chance at true love. So they really feel there's something deep in there, deep within you guys to really explore. But maybe there's something holding them back. Maybe they're the one with the anchor on their back. I can't bear to lose you though. I choose you. So... For me, this is like saying, I really, you know, there's something there. It's reciprocal, but maybe they can't take action because of whatever reason. Backup plan. Maybe they have, maybe they're married with someone. Maybe they're, they're already tied down to someone. Anchor. They're involved. Not tied down, like, not like a burden. I just mean, they're already accounted for. They're claimed already. You know? They went to the altar with someone and made a promise. That's what I mean. All right. So uh, let's see what these awesome, this is from Cherry Enchantress. I use her silhouettes, uh, sentimental silhouettes and her uh, embrace cards. Chant I forget what they're called. Enchant and embrace and sentimental silhouettes. Links are below. Lovely, lovely pile number two. What messages does your person have for you? Loved, I told ya. I told ya. There is love there. There's something there. And you know, your person probably thinks so much about you that they just... They, they need running shoes. They need running shoes because... They, it's like they're trying to avoid you. They can't stop thinking about you. So by looking at you, they have to go in the opposite direction. Because being around you is so... It's probably, it's probably so unbearable. Like knowing that they can't have you the way they want you. Or vice versa, you knowing that they, you can't have them the way you want them, so that could be very burdensome. 
Maybe that's very anchoring and that makes you want to go in the opposite direction. Maybe it makes you want to avoid them. Bye bye. Maybe it makes you want to, you know, flee the scene. Um, because you're up all night thinking about them. It's driving you mad. Oh my gosh. Encouraged. Wait a second. Loved. Feeling warm, cherished, and blessed to be connected with you. Yep. So you both, you know, either or. One of you is so happy to be next to the other. Feeling warm, cherished, and blessed to be connected. Encouraged. I will win your heart no matter what it takes. You are so precious to me. Oh my gosh. See, look at that. I choose you. So this person is willing to put in the work. Nostalgic. Feeling like I've known you my whole life. Maybe we've met before in a past lifetime. I have fond memories. So that's the Six of Cups right there. So there's something that you both mirror. Maybe this person recognized it, recognizes themselves through you. Maybe that's why they can't stop thinking about you. And you can't stop thinking about them. You got heavy weight. Oh, my stars. Feeling like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. Thank you very much, Anchor. So that's like double and double messages here. So it could be that it's mutual or just a clarifier that this is indeed what's happening. They feel a lot of burden, a lot of stress, a lot of baggages on them. And it could also be, I made a promise to my person. I can't, I can't break that promise. So I got to put my feelings and your feelings aside. Let me be your emperor. See what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got this queen spider and now you got the emperor. Do you guys marry each other in some shape or form? That's probably why you, there's so much attraction. But it doesn't mean that you're able to be together in physical form because of whatever reason. So that's what I'm leaving you with. You know, I really hope that you guys can work this out. You know, communicate. Um, if you're with someone and you're thinking about somebody else and that's the person you're thinking about, uh, let's figure out what you can do. Like, you know, try to try to uh, heal, with the, heal your shadows. Like, try to figure out you know, what you need to do, like, do you need to tell this person how you're feeling to have closure? Do you need to tell your person that you're married with, if you are, how you're feeling about somebody else? I don't know, like, do you feel safe doing that, or do you feel like would that, that that would break your connection? Like, you need to assess that, that's your, your life, your decision. Only you know what the best bet is for yourself. So, um, that's what I'm leaving you with. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that this you know, you get the web or you get the strings untied and you, you uncomplicate the things. I hope that you figure this out. And I think you will because you got the emperor, you got the spider spirit, um, and very strategic. Spider webs, they know all bugs get stuck in spider webs, okay? Like, there's nothing that this, spy, this spider can't do to get her food. She's going to get what she wants or he, okay? You feeling encouraged? Yeah, you will get, you will get through this. You will figure the pickle out. You will figure it out. All right? And just know, look, if you have to leave something behind in order to welcome something new, you can do that too. Okay, friend? Or if you have to leave this person behind, squash that away and focus on the person that you have right now that you built a long life with, you know, focus on that too. What, or focus, focus make, that, make that your priority. Power number three. Hello. Thank you for choosing the starfish. Hope you're doing well. You chose this animal spirit here. Open to infinite, infinite possibilities. All right, so let me know why you chose this. Was it an intuitive thing? Was it a number, a visual, a color, a position thing? Let me know. I would always love to know. So if you're new, please subscribe, and thank you for returning always. I always enjoy seeing familiar faces, and if you're, if you're new here, I, I welcome you to the channel. I post a lot. I post like one video every day or every other day or every other other day. And I also have a playlist with more, and I do pick cards. I'm sorry, I, um, I also do like fun deck talk on my V11 Crystals channel if you're interested in that. We do like battle of the decks, we do deck reviews, all that fun stuff. It's called V11 Crystals. Um, and if you're interested in supporting this channel, I do have join memberships here on YouTube and on Patreon. And we do have this the thanks button next to my subscribe button. It's kind of like a tip jar if you're interested in that. It's just a way to exchange energy for energy, and your support just helps keep me motivated. I thank you. Also, I put all names in my scroll bar in the very beginnings of my video to say thank you and shout you out. All right. So for you, pile number three, this is pretty, um, it's pretty clear. So we're starting with, okay, we're starting with, um, yeah, okay, we're starting with, 
beautiful energy here. So infinite possibilities. So there's potential for something to happen in your connection with the person that you're inquiring about. There's um, a little bit of wiggle room to improve a situation, improve your relationship. Um, there's a little bit of, you have like the green light to do something. You got the, the six of wands here. So there is success on your side. There's like the green light, like to say go. You got the, you got the light. Yes, the answer is a yes. Um, this person wants to, you know, reciprocate the feelings that they have for you, that you have for them. This person wants the same things that you want. Um, and now the other side could also be that this person is also dealing with feelings for you, but also it could be that they're, fe they're dealing with someone else's feelings as well. And I say that because we have, you have the success with possibilities. It's like, oh my gosh, the possibilities. What we can do together. What roads we can tr travel. What obstacles we can overcome. And then right here, sandwiched here, like, I mean, sorry, right here, dividing everything is rest, a resting period, preparing, thinking. And then you have, on the other side of the fence, the Five of Swords, and this is where it gets rocky. Five of Swords, you know, uh, going back and forth with someone, things being a little bit, you know, up and down with them. Well, you know, if they're involved with someone else, it's a little bit rocky. It's a, It's not as um, civilized as this person wants it to be. So they avoid, they avoid conflict, they avoid, they avoid it. They, they avoid problems with the person that they're with. They avoid, they can be avoiding you as well. So that everybody is happy and there's no, there's no uh, complications or no drama. <sighs> so then they could end up reconciling, coming together with their person, working it out, their other person. The person that, that is not you, is what I'm saying. Re yeah, some kind of coming together, um, apologizing, working it out with the other person. But at the same time, this person finds peace thinking about what could be with you. So your person could be conflicted. Your person could be like, oh, crap. I love this person so much. This is my person I've built a family with or built stability with or built a business with, whatever. But man, with what I could do here, I would feel free. I would have so much fun here. I would X, Y, and Z here. Um, so then this person has to reflect some more. Avoid, avoid all problems. Avoid, you know, to take some space to think about what they want. Reconcile their thoughts, reconcile those questions, file them away, answer those own, own, their own questions, file them away, go f and go forward. Make apologies with whoever they have to apologize to, go forward. Whether they're apologizing to you that they can't give you more attention or apologizing to this other person that they, you know, are trying to work things out with to be able to re reconcile. Or to be like, hey, I have feelings for somebody else, I'm sorry, where do we go from here? So, um, you know, I feel like there's some people, This it's probably a small percentage of you that are saying, so, are they going to get back together? Are they going to leave them for me? Are they, um, what's going on in their connection? Why are they fighting? I feel like that, you know, I do get those questions when I do personal readings, and I always, I say the same thing. I don't like to dive into people's, other people's energy. I don't mind dealing and reading your energy, but it, when it comes to your person's, marital issues with someone else. I don't even like to dig into the person that you're asking about without spirit's consent. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, is my person cheating on me? I'm like, I don't, I can't do that because I, I feel like it's unethical spiritually to say, hey, is Jack cheating on Lisa? Meanwhile, Lisa's the one that's paying for the reading and Jack is her person, her crush, and she wants, or, or her whatever, and she's asking about Jack's relations to everybody else. And I, I feel like that's just, I, I can't do it. My spirit won't allow me. And my ethicalness won't allow me. I just feel really bad doing that without their consent. So um, I just feel like I can say is that this person is very loyal to their other person. And 
And that's a good quality to have because if you were to be with this person, you would want them to be loyal to you. You would want them to not entertain temptations or new people coming in when they're supposed to be in a connection with you. So, you know, this person is very loyal, is what I'm saying. So if they have to square this away and take care of all this, to see if they ever even want to go in a positive direction with you, then hey, go for it. Because you don't want sloppy seconds, and you don't want your person coming towards you and then saying what if, and then leave you hanging, and then go back to their person, their, their main person. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to be the other person. Thank you. You don't want to be... You don't want to have someone who's the main person and then you're the other person, the side person. That's not your thing. So while they're in this situation, let them figure this out. And in the meantime, you take care of your stuff. You have your fun. You do your thing. Don't don't hold your breath waiting for this person because they're doing their thing here. You got to put yourself first. What possibilities do you have for yourself? What What opportunities do you have for yourself? You're on top of the mountain here. Create your own doors open your own doors see what other fish are in the sea my friend so um let's see what messages from your person want to come through for you pound number three's messages pound number three's person's messages for you see your person's messages oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh this is too much no Sometimes what happens here is that one, five cards can push one card out that's really supposed to be here. So we got to kind of weave through all these flyers. You make me a better person. I know you better than you know yourself. I need space to figure out what I want. That's exactly what I was getting here and the four swords. Let me think. Let me prepare. Let me assess. Let me write a journal entry. Let me avoid you for a little bit. Let me reconcile my thoughts. Oh my gosh, let me apologize to whoever needs to hear my apologies. You know, like, this person is just really trying to be like the hermit right now. I need space, yeah. I want you to know how far my love would go. You're my muse. So they think highly of you. I want it all with you. I'm lying to you. See, there's something there. Why? There's an apology and a lie, a lie. and an avoidance. Because someone's doing something they're not supposed to. Your kisses are electrifying. So that, so that even if you haven't, have never kissed them, they still feel there's some kind of chemistry. It's electrical. Look into my eyes. There's a light of love inside of me. There's something there, see? The time we shared was not a painless affair. Oh, snap, affair. So this person, you guys might be in a third-party situation. Maybe you're with someone and your person's not. Maybe it's just you. And you got to figure out what you want to do. And the, where the connection is heading is some more uh, back, back and forth energy and then someone ghosting or someone saying, you know what, I have to take care of business over here or I got to take business over here in this direction. So that can be you or your person. So in other words, your person's not going to play you. Or play two people, play fiddles. Nope, your person's going to choose a side. Five of Swords. Your person's going to choose a side. Either you're winning or you're losing something. This person's not going to be like living a double life. That's not this person's energy. This person's going to make a choice. Enthusiastic. Feeling very excited to be with you. I want to spend quality time with you. Oh my gosh. That's what I was. That's what I was saying. Like there's some kind of mag, mag, magnetism here. A heavy weight, feeling like the weight of this world is on my shoulders. We just talked about that in part number two. Like there's a lot of decisions this person has to make. There's a lot of things that he has, he or she has to consider. Got to file things away mentally. Like oh my gosh, how do I feel about this person? Okay, now that I know what I feel about that, let's put that aside. How do I feel about this person? What I feel about this situation? How do I? What do I plan to do with this situation? Okay, let's re reconcile those thoughts and ideas and plans. Now let's see what else I have to deal with. You know, trying to put all the pieces together, file them away, and then deal with priorities. Prioritize things that really need to be talked about and addressed. Do you need more? Do you need more? <clears throat> wow, do you need more? Do you need more of me? Do you need more time to think? Do you need more space? This is the Love on the Brain Oracle by the lovely... 
Gift is sold 777. She is amazing. She has an Etsy shop. She has a pick card channel. And then we're using Cherry Enchantress's awesome deck. She's amazing too. She's a lovely reader. And she also has uh, an Etsy shop. So I'll link everything to our fine friends in my description boxes. Lovely Cherry Enchantress. That's her name. Well, her name is Pixie Stardust now. And en Enchanted. Oh my gosh. And Empowered. Feeling good like I can take on anything. Want to take me on? Okay. So they, they feel like a man or a woman when you are around them. Maybe you flatter them. Maybe you, you give them compliments. Maybe you pay the extra attention to them. And they're like, oh, I, I feel that. I feel it. I, is ma I am mes mes mesmerized and amazed by your loveliness. And we got that um, right here. You're my muse and I'm enchanted by you. So they think that you're attractive. They think that you're appealing. There's chemistry between you guys. What else? I want to make love to you. Okay. There's some kind of sexual chemistry here for sure. I love your smile. Look, enthusiastic. So you light them up. <clears throat> yep, you, you light them up. There's some kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm telling you. Feeling like petals on the wind. Time to move on. Wow, that's interesting. Excited again. Feeling the thrill, like tooting my own horn. It's music to my ears. All right, so the wind's here. Wow, this is like saying, oh, this is so intense, but I have to kind of like chill a little bit. This is so intense, but I got to rest a little bit. I got to keep it cool. I got to prepare. I got to think. I have to do a journal entry. I gotta avoid you in order to not t lead on what I'm feeling or what I'm what my body is feeling when I get close to you. This person is really like trying to put their armor on to protect them from their feelings, and so maybe because they know what's gonna happen if they just let their guard down. Got success here. Oh my gosh! All right, I'm gonna leave it here. If you want something more personal, I can go deeper than this. Check me out over on Etsy at Personal Readings. I'm telling you, it's going to resonate even more because it's not a collective. It's going to be personal. It's going to be just me, my cards, and your camera, and it's just for your eyes only. And, um, yeah, all the cards I used are down below. Painted Love, Love on the Brain from Gift to Soul, um, Enchanted Embrace, Sentimental Silhouettes from Cherry Enchantress, and that's pretty much it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.